Hello my soccer universe, it doesn't happen in the videos and I usually try to avoid it that the thumbnail and the jersey I'm wearing are kind of from the same match and in this case even from the same league I usually have, you know, um, main picture league uh, jersey I'm wearing is Eredivisie or the other way around. However, I gotta say the Nantes PSG game probably was the most entertaining match that I sort of saw because Milan was playing at the same time as well on two screens but that game was super in, 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 entertaining I did not watch you know it by now City against um, Spurs but that PSG match really 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 had everything in many ways absolutely everything uh, and it, it was amazing and it, it is exactly what I say this is why I actually like to watch <laughs> PSG because you don't know what you're getting you're getting either brilliant performance see Real Madrid or you're getting complete train wreck see not just a few days later in any case it's anyway that um, teams that had European commitments actually had a pretty rough week not only in these two leagues but in general so this was also another uh, sign there but you know let's go first into the Eredivisie to be honest there is not much I can tell you about I saw a little bit of PSV's match against uh, Herrenwein uh, Ajax with a very late goal by Timber wins against Willem Dwe we had Z winning we had Feyenoord coming from behind to win 3 ones Cambuur and PSV also you know it was at one point uh, I think 1-1 one, one in the first half and then early in the second half um, Götze and Fehrmann uh, turn it around and it is a 3-1 win Probably the most interesting match uh, from uh, if you're a real a Dutch aficionado. I'm unfortunately not quite, but you know, uh, like ne next level to Utrecht against the Vitesse, ending in a 1 1. And we find ourselves in the really odd situation that with all these results, no position at the table changed. I, it doesn't happen too often. So uh, that was interesting as well. Um, as for upcoming games, it's it's again. I mean, we have one good. Uh, we have we have one good one between AZ and Feyenoord. I think this is one that uh, definitely could uh, cause some upset. But you know, PSV have have to play at Sparta and Ajax a go ahead Eagles after playing in the Champions League. So I think Dutch league. We know it's a three way race, but it will probably come down to the head to head duels where we already had. PSV Ajax, where Ajax uh, took all six points. The question is, can Feyenoord catch PSV for the second direct qualifying spot? So that's it for me from the Netherlands this time around. Uh, unfortunately, not too much, but you know, it will come in other rounds. But as I said, in France, there were quite a few interesting results. I mean, Lille uh, nil nil against Metz, then Lens and Lyon also. Um, that was probably the nominal top game also ends in a 1-1 draw but to me the buck stops with not PSG first of can I please complain again 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 uh, over the bl black PSG jerseys they're wearing them way too often I think against not you can play in your home kit or you can play in your beautiful new white away kit you don't need to wear the black one I, I'm really getting annoyed by this black jersey it is a nice idea it has a nice reference to it uh, it is not bad looking but they're playing way too often in that one, uh, especially at Nantes, where you know the, you have the vibrant yellow, white, and black. And you saw in the first first minutes when the Nantes fans with all the flares caused kind of all the fog. You barely could see the PSG players. Of course, the Nantes players were uh, well visible with their bright yellow, and probably that had a hand in the first goal uh, that Colomani. It was a nice cut cut counter where they took the ball of Mbappé and over the entire field, or in the fourth minute in the fog, the one nil. Uh, Messi then missed a big chance and the right uh, a few minutes later uh, Merlin wonderful shot in the 15th minute makes it 2-0 now that I, my mouth was agape at that point because I could not I did not expect it I even remember when I saw the lineup I, I said I think this could be an interesting match but then I saw the lineup for now and I said, yeah, uh, okay I know Lafont but I don't think this is the lineup that will actually cause this PSG team that just performed so great against Real Madrid will cause some trouble. Boy was I wrong. Boy was what was wrong. And yes, Lafont has to be given loads of credit. Uh, he had uh, many, many, many saves but I also gotta say that the finish for PSG was off. I mean the chance that Messi, Messi missed Messi doesn't miss this way. He doesn't shoot this way. It's, it's usually he knows you usually much better where the goal is. Maybe French goals are a little bit different than Spanish goals. Uh, he just uh, something a little bit off with him. I think he plays reasonably well, but it's not uh, you know 
when we talk Messi, there's a whole other level. I mean, this is not this is a very very bad uh, <laughs> copy of Messi. It's still an excellent player in many ways. And I think the one where they were three on one, all three of them, and then Neymar gets gets a ball, that timid shot that he took. There, uh, I mean, at that moment he should have been taken off to off the pitch because he just cannot do it this way. Uh, but there also was a little bit, you know, VAR luck there as well because um, so it was all right. Up here, uh, brought on Mbappé. It's first you thought it was penalty, no, it was not, and he gets a red card. He was not the last man, so he got a yellow card. Uh, and then Vinaldum uh, gets a ball headed onto his hand, which is far outstretched. I understand why it's there. It just seems a little bit off to give it. But then. Blas converts the penalty. What a penalty. I mean, a hard shot straight out the middle. And even though Caleb Navon stays in the middle, uh, it was just way too hard hit. So, yeah. 3 0 at the half. Uh, probably flattering to not at that point. But none, 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 nonetheless, it made for an exciting game. And it continued right after the half because the half hadn't started yet properly. And Messi. Threads a wonderful pass into Neymar, who takes it around and puts it in internet. Game on. Then Mbappé m m m misses one, uh, a pretty uh, good chance. And then a penalty is given and Neymar steps up. His usual run up, and I think Neymar is the best penalty taker on the team. Maybe Sergio Ramos is even better. But... I'm okay with Neymar taking it, but if he shoots it, I mean, this was basically a back pass to the goalkeeper. LaFont just had to fall down and be in the right, right, right corner. This is a peak Neymar that I hate in many ways. So, yeah, that was it. Because despite Mbappé missing another big one, I think if they make the penalty, I even could see PSG winning that one. Julian Draxler had, had a few. LaFont didn't really save I mean, his saves, I always had a feeling, got better the longer the game went on. But overall, not was in a way deserving of of the win because they fought hard, they converted very very their chances, and they showed it showed that they showed that PSG cannot just win by you know uh, yeah you put the three stars uh, stars out there and they try to put something nice together. So um, Messi stunned as usually after the game. I have to say more and more the enduring image for me of Messi, and I've said it before, is this blank stare after a game. This is for me the Messi picture. This is how I will remember Messi. Not the jubilant Messi or the one who is dribbling out. No, it's this blank stare that I see more often and often. We saw it when he got eliminated uh, at the World Cup. We saw it when, um, whenever he got eliminated from Barcel with Bar Barcelona, suffered a devastating blow and now the same goes again. But again, um, PSG could afford to lose that at that one. A uh, much bigger result, I guess, was Rennes, former winner of Troyes, and especially the saint Etienne gets another uh, draw against high flank Strasbourg, um, who, as we will see, are, are pretty high and high on the table. And Saint Etienne is really making an escape, which uh, I'm not too unhappy about because Saint Etienne is a team that should play in Liga. Uh, Bordeaux and Monaco 1-1. Uh, uh, Monaco actually being perhaps a, a goal and a man down, and then uh, they get the equalizer through an own goal, and then the other stunner. And Marseille, who also are very, very up and down. Clermont foot with probably two or three shots on goal. Score two, two goals, and Marseille wasting many, many, many chances. And yeah, so uh, I said last week that Marseille is claiming second spot. Getting tight, because Nice won against Angers. So, uh, interesting, interesting stuff for sure. If we look at the current, the, the current side, Marseille is still in second, but now it's only one point ahead of Nice. Strasbourg is in fourth. That is a surprise, uh, but you can also, also see that there are many um, teams that are in the running for this final Champions League uh, spot. As for the, and also in rele relegation, I mean, Saint Etienne is. You can argue from 16 to 20, 20, it's pretty much a crap show. Choose three uh, who will who will get out of there. So I find that interesting too. As for uh, next week, we have Lyon against Lille. I think that's a pretty big match. We have PSG against Saint Etienne. So I'm, I'm actually looking a little bit forward to see Saint Etienne grab more points from PSG. Uh, Strasbourg against, against Nice. We saw the table. This is a top duel. Very, very interesting stuff. And maybe Marseille can beat the other uh, team that got promoted uh, last 
time around. We also have a Western Breton derby between Bre uh, Brest and Lorient. Lorient definitely would need the points there. So just a few matches that stick out to me. In any case, uh, please let, let me know what you thought about the happenings in Eredivisie and in League. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.